You all thought I was gonna do something bad to these boxes, but I would never make a joke about hurting an animal. Recent events have made shipping live animals super risky. The delays have increased a lot because FedEx is prioritizing medical supplies and because a lot of roads have been blocked off. And any delays can potentially harm animals along the way. So for that reason, no animals are going out, no animals are coming in, and we're at a complete standstill right now, which means no unboxing episode six for who knows how long. We'll just follow the news and find out. So to try and make up for it, I thought you could now become the box. Introducing perishable merch. Uh, I, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's an Emerald Scales green and the Emerald Scales font. And you can let everyone around you know just how fragile you are. So check it out in the link below. And until then, please enjoy highlights of unboxings episode one through five. Your FedEx package has arrived safely. Anyway, oh. <laughs> Uh, this is like the first reptile unboxing, so let's just get started. This one is coming from Virginia. It's like cutting eggs open early, like our favorite YouTuber does. Emerald Scales. I am so tired of saying the name of my company, but that is okay. I will keep saying it, because it'll make me more money. What do you mean I'm not allowed to stack the boxes? Okay, I know they're still stacked, but they're not gonna fall this time because I'm not shaking the table violently. Anyway. Oh, hey. How, how's it going? So in the first episode, we unboxed seven animals. In the second episode, we unboxed like eight or something. And today we're gonna be unboxing even more. This is a box of cereal. My favorite, in fact, Honey Bunches of Oats. Not sponsored, but they're pretty good. And as of this week, Emerald Scales is turning two years old. I should not have blown that. The next animal is coming from MA. I don't know what state that is. Massachusetts. Montana. My favorite thing to do is seeing what people use as padding. A lot of people use their homework in tests and it's really funny because a lot of you have really bad grades and need to study more. One person most recently forgot to put a title on their essay. What happened to MLA format? I don't know. We are in the middle of a global crisis. I don't care if there are blood on the streets. There are always going to be an infinite number of reptiles in boxes that have to get out of the boxes. Nobody is here to do it but me. The last video got a lot of complaints. Another one was the fact that I used a knife instead of a box cutter because the knife is too big. You really need to calm down. I'm not gonna do anything to possibly harm any of these animals, and you're gonna have to trust me on that. <laughs> this is hard. This knife is really dull. <laughs> okay. How do you munches of oats come in a cardboard box like every other cereal? You open up this cardboard box. This is a bag. 
Why is there a bag inside this cardboard box? Because you don't want your cereal to be stale. In order to avoid having stale cereal, mm, that's good. Also, I've got this beautiful avocado uh, pinata here, but I feel like it's just too nice to destroy, but we do have to destroy something. I hate pinatas. I'd be inspired by medieval times. I know in the past I said, um, what did I say? I know in the past I said that cardboard and boxes are breathable, but I was lying, I made all of that up just so that you think the animals are safe. Actually, none of it's breathable at all. And this does not allow 99.999% of contaminants in because it's so airtight. It smells like tight, it smells like rubber. Like it came out of a car shop. And here we are, he's ready to go. This is a Russian tortoise. One of the dumbest comments I've ever seen in my life is people saying they're gonna buy an animal from a pet store instead of us solely, be which is fine if you don't wanna buy from us. There's, there's plenty of people you can buy from, but they're gonna buy from a pet store instead of online because they don't want it shipped. They wanna put it in their car after they drive to the store, put it in their car, drive home, and then it's never shipped. How do you think it gets to the pet store? You put it in a bag because cardboard is not airtight. What makes stereal sale? Oxygen. There are many of its friends that probably did die in the box. Okay, he's adorable. Look at this man. This is a red fit tortoise. He's pretty fast. What gets inside a cardboard box? Oxygen. What do animals need What do animals need to stay alive? Oxygen. This plastic bag is here. Now it's a little aggressive. This plastic bag is here to keep the oxygen out of the cardboard box. Therefore, what I'm saying is all of these boxes have no problem getting oxygen. Now apparently, not everyone here likes my knife skills when it comes to the size of knife and the way I use it. And in other words, heading towards myself. Ew. I'm curious if I'll just walk, walk off the edge of the table. Don't. He did it. Some of the animals commit Sudoku on arrival. It's okay, I would too if I ended up in my house. For that reason, For that reason. <laughs> For that reason, I have this. To stop the 0.001% of contaminants. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, how's it going? Boink. Oh, he didn't like that. Boink. There we go. That's better. Okay. <laughs> I'm, there's a chance this person's watching the video. So, I don't want to be mean. But also, you did a really bad job packaging. Stop talking. I am a master with blades. And I know how to safely cut a box. I'm trying not to be too offended 
that you don't believe me. What it do, everybody? It's your boy. Ow, it's hard. Ew, did I just chip a tooth? Apparently a lot of people are really scared of balloons popping, like it's a very common fear. I don't know if I have that fear myself, but I like being able to threaten you like this. Just because you never know when one of the balloons are gonna pop. It's kind of scary myself. I'm a little intimidated and I'm the one in control. It's spiky. It's not a bearded dragon. Oh, it's a bearded dragon. Uh, also, just in case you didn't know, it was, it was me, go herping. Hey, how's it going? Good. This is a lizard who is nice and warm, which I'm sure it appreciated. Oh, wait. There's, there's more than one. There's two lizards. What do you know? A supply is inside every time. Oh my God. They put the heat pack in the snake bag. That's not what our instructions said. Some of these people are really bad at the one task that they have. And you should be glad that you're on the other side of the screen and not in this room. Like these reptiles. <laughs> or these reptiles. No, I don't have a replacement for you. I'm not gonna break that one. Um, they knew this was going to be in an unboxing video. They printed their own advertisement for the video. We had the katana. Well, it's alive. Well, they're both alive. I'm back and they're in a tub now. I just mixed the water and uh, they'll get actual truly fresh water later, but this is just fresh cold water with prime and uh, the water they were already in. So uh, isn't that great to see? Not really. Oh wait, I cut away from myself, hold on. Let me make sure my heart's like right there. <laughs> this is not very sharp. This is from Amazon and as much as I love Papa Jeff Bezos, his swords could use some sharpening. I had this amazing huge cactus balloon and it was completely filled, but in between shots I dropped the katana on it. Whoops. It's just... <laughs> I literally kill every cactus. So what you should do is take the first bag, fill it with water, put the axolotl, fill it with air, and then tie it then put it in a second bag and tie the second bag. But what they did is they put two bags together, filled it with water and used a rubber band and tried to close it off. So it wasn't actually an airtight seal. So all the air leaked out and the water was just slowly pouring out over the past night. So sorry to whatever FedEx driver it now has a puddle in the bottom of their truck. Thankfully, the beard is okay. This is a female. Sam wasn't too happy. It also somehow got shed in here, even though the bag is sealed. Okay. Hello. How are you? Oh, he... But obviously I need something else to unbox reptiles with. been exerting a lot of energy. There's concerns that there's a bit too much happening, a bit too much stress. I have a wooden spoon. Three seconds! He's got a spoon! Next box. Oh wait, I can finally cut towards myself without being attacked. Look at that protection. I can't see. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Look at that, we got more essays. <coughs> this does stink because it pooped a little bit, which is fine. They're in the most common, oh God. <laughs> the end of the tail is definitely gonna fall off. There's no way this animal is keeping its tail. It looks so bad. <laughs> I'll do it just close up. Yeah, my nails are gross though. The tail, I said in the video, the tail's definitely gonna come off. I guess I should have warned you. <laughs> um, apparently he was in a very bad, apparently he's in a bad mood. Maybe he'll want some cereal. Oh, oh my God. We did it. Hey, what you doing? Oh, he's fine. This is an Argentine. Black and white tegu. Oh. <laughs> A blue tongue skink. <laughs> gotta be safe. Gotta be uh, gotta be family friendly, everyone. We've only gotten it to eat a very few things in the couple months that we've had it. Even though we've made sure the husband. Watermelons are kind of fast. Um, hello? Why am I using a key? This is unacceptable. Maybe it's a big gecko. Let's find out. If he can survive my swordsman skills. Ooh, 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 woo! Brizzle, ow! Okay. I said ow, but he actually just bit my sweatshirt, which is for sale on, in the link below. Guess what? I don't want you at all now. In reality, I'm just so... But you know what I have to do is open this box with a spoon. <laughs> is this a good thumbnail? Okay, so usually the big boxes... Oh, this is actually a good workout. Um, the heat pack fell off. Cool. Mm. Smells bad. I don't know what it did in here, but it, I don't want to see it. <coughs> cool. Mm, it immediately made my head hurt. That's the first four. I'll see you when I got more. That rhymes. We're back. It's time for day two. The majority of the lizards we got today have metabolic bone disease, which is completely avoidable if you just put lights and feed them a normal diet. <clears throat> One safe and happy animal. Two safe and happy animals. Three. Four. Five. Oh, yeah. um, let's hold the big box so that you watch more of the video, which you could just scrub through and look for the big box, but that's no fun. Wait till the big box actually comes so you can see what's in the big box. Where is my knife? Just kidding, still not using a knife. I'm gonna hold his back and make him walk. Okay, he doesn't wanna walk, but it looks bad. <laughs> I don't know the temperament of this animal, and I'm a little scared. Moment of truth. Usually I stick my head in the bags. Um, am I gonna do it this time? Yeah. Hello! Okay. Hello. This is one of the few boas that we've gotten. We don't get many boas, and um, specifically I need to look on the box to see what kind of boa. It's a... Longic, it's a Longicoa boa? I don't, I've never seen that name before. <sighs> Watch the wooden spoon end up being the best weapon I've ever used. This is a boa constrictor, a ghost boa constrictor. It's a morph that is not too cheap, but this is super healthy. I have a boa myself uh, named Rosie. Uh, I got it from my old high school because they don't know how to do anything at that school. If you're wondering, I make a huge mess in these videos and I hate cleaning them up as you can see from Exhibit A. Oh. 
think it's just a ball python. I meant not just a ball python, this is a positive episode. Every animal is my favorite, I love them all. Equally, I am so tired. Yeah. Guess who's right? I'm always right. And this is a normal, most likely female ball python based on size, but I can check the sex later. And it's got stuck shed on its face. What is going on in Nebraska? No, I don't, I, I'm sorry, but I'd never think of your state. Okay, well, he has stuff in him. Cool. Mm, that does not smell great. You know, the texture on your skin when you accidentally grind it through your fingers is not, it's not fun with Brady droppings. It says standard ball python. Not a premium ball python, not even the limited ball python, but the standard ball python. <laughs> I am, okay. So Emerald Skills is probably gonna be three years old by the time we finish unboxing all these. I lost my sword. Just kidding, you weren't prepared. This is the essence of positivity. I don't know what I'm talking about. It is midnight. I have been up for almost a day. And I'm slowly going insane. But. <sighs> anyway, I completely forgot what I was just saying. Oh. Um, all of his toes are falling off. Just because you expected a massive animal, and I did too. Sir, are you okay? Eddie. Edward. Eddie. Ed, come here. Hello. I'm laughing because I'm crying. Because I want to go to sleep. But I was like, no. I'm going to film this unboxing video. That's the last thing I do. Be positive. Fake positivity runs the world. This is a fat gecko, and I am putting him somewhere else if I can lift him. Woo! Two more boxes remain in unboxing episode five. Woo! <laughs> Hi. Good man. I was going to say good boy, but this is a man. This is a red iguana. Uh, similar to the green iguana, but it's red. I don't know what is happening anymore. You know what? No. I'm not dealing with this. Okay. I need to get through this episode fast. I don't know what animal this is. I don't care. I'm just gonna... I don't... I mean, I do care, but... Uh, huh. Bazoink. I added some beautiful pink wrapping. It smells bad. Why does it smell so bad? It's making my stomach hurt. Oh! Someone made a- <laughs> I just almost threw up. That's the worst smelling box I've ever smelled. Dead animals smell better than this. Before I hit- Before... Ow! Ow! Oh god. Having my face this close to a brand new iguana is probably not good, but I'm kind of stuck. I'm gonna go get a snack. Be right back. Ow! Ow! Take. Take. Oh, a gargoyle gecko. I am so sorry you had to be in that for a day. How did he survive that? He had every right to be dead. He? He had every right to be dead. What did they, how did, what is this? I still can't get to it. Okay, we did it. Here, woo, here are two ball pythons. You know what would be really awkward is if there was a dead on arrival in this video. Uh, it's extremely rare that one doesn't survive. Think about how awkward it would be. I'm like this. I'm, I'm like this. And then I'm... I hope none of these are dead. It's just gonna be really uncomfortable for all parties involved. Thanks so much for trusting us with your animals, even if I use... That's the word. Again, check out the description. Uh, for all sorts of cool stuff, but until then, I'm Alex, and thanks for watching. <laughs>